Visionaries Aloud. A lot of times I have people asking me, why did I pick the name Visionaries Aloud? Honestly, it was born in an apartment in 2013 when I was doing my internship at an international non-profit organization. And that's where I met my partner, Bernice Auma. And we were talking about how we're so passionate about film. And not only that, we worked for this huge non-profit that did amazing work in Africa, in about 30 different countries. And within the staff, we were the only two Africans. So having two Africans in an office of up to 80 people, where majority of their work was in Africa, we began to ask, where are the Africans? We're here discussing peace in Africa, we're discussing the youth, we're discussing communities, but they're not even in these meetings, their voices are not being heard. So we decided to start a platform where we could have media through cameras and being able to train and educate specifically the youth because the youth constitute for about 70% of the African population. So if we can train young people to be carrying cameras and writing and photography and film and talking about the situations within their community and the issues and coming up with solutions themselves, we were like then we have moved a step forward. And so we named it Visionaries because you have to be a visionary leader to do so. And we named it Aloud because you have to have a voice. And a lot of visionaries, especially those who are young, choose to sit in the back banner, in the background, and just watch things happen, not really speaking out their ideas. So we wanted a platform where young people are doing amazing, huge initiatives, and they can come together, speak about them, collaborate, share ideas, and work together. And so that's where Visionaries Aloud was born. We're hoping to see it grow in ways where young people are passionate about what's happening in their country and they're contributing to solutions and coming up with solutions themselves and being able to document such processes so that they can adopt such plans in other areas around the country and around different parts of Africa. So for now we have a staff of three. We have Eric, Sharon and Beth who work tirelessly day and night supporting VA and I'm sure we're going to see it grow even more. Oh, dear. Oh, dear.